Hey guys, welcome back. So this is um, let's develop our blackjack game, and where we left off is we just had still a bunch of bugs that we had to deal with. You've probably seen the last video I was debugging, so we're going to continue on with that process and seeing what issues we're running into. And also, as you can tell, I changed my theme for Visual Studio. If you have questions to do that, let me know. But I think it's just go to general, and from there you can change your environment. From there you can change the theme, and this is the dark theme. The dark theme it just looks a little bit nicer. It makes me feel all hip and shit. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so start debugging to see what happens. Make sure my logic makes sense now. I think there's still a bug from the last time we did anything. Uh, cool. And all right, let's see where we're at in this part. Play hand, hit or stay. If I stay, click no. De dealer flips to ten. That's a total of twenty. So that's wrong so what happened was so dealer was showing the 10 to begin with so that's what we want to do it's greater than or equal to so let's stop debugging real quick. Fix this little issue. And let's run this again. Hit. And hit. Jeez. Really slow, small hands. Let's hit again. See if we bust. Jeez. Why does that do that? Uh, it's very funky. Okay, so let's figure out what's true about the dealer's hand. Dealer's hand has. Wait, what? Hmm, that does not seem right. Let's go to our console again. console dot right mm. and I can I 
read it. Hits and gets. Create another player one. False. And set this to player win. So it seems like that's good. I wonder if let's hit this code. Huh. I've never been able to debug while doing that before. So to continue, should I get that? Oh wow, that's incredible. Player wins equals false. Dealer score plus plus. Click yes. Continue on. You have you have a hand. You have a hand of one or thirteen, and dealer has a one showing. Yeah, I should change. It should be
I was able to do it before. <laughs> you guys saw that, right? Lies. Whatever. Fix that as well, though. We won't just do what we do for the... Cool. And debug. Alright. Hopefully this is all perfect now. Oh, that's why. Because you don't want to show both cards. Okay. Hit me. Ooh, hit me. Shit. Um. Screw it. Hit me. How does it even make sense? How is it even possible? <laughs> Alright, let's debug this bad boy. <laughs> Alright, let's check out player's hand. Six cards. Okay, so it's two, four, eleven, fifteen, sixteen, twenty two. Going to here. Oh, twelve into that. Hopefully we get to hit it right there. Yes, all right. 21 without the ace. On your plus plus. Hmm. All right. Um, this might be a good place to cr start creating tests for stuff like that. Just different type of variables that can go into it. Pass it in a like list of card values and make sure the math 
for hand values is correct. So I might just do that right now. Let's um stop debugging. And if I hover over this, I should be able to create unit test. Uh, this is not a public method. This should be a method anyways. Clean that up. Put this above here. This method. Actually, let's. There we go. Clean that up. I think there's an easier way to clean code. Uh, where is it? Um, Might would just be a resharper method. And not a resharper method, just a feature in resharper. But once I finish this, I'll probably create another video for the actual test itself for these values. Just so we like if we ever change them in the future. It's a lot easier. To figure out how it works and all that jazz. Then do the same thing for this bad boy.
And if we build, there should be a bunch of errors. Error list. Do, 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 do. Maybe it can't be static. Uh, Cool, and I believe we got everything. Oh, nope. Where's the last one? It's like doing two string. Same idea, you need, since the method, you kind of have to add the parentheses if you're curious why you have to add that now. Just defines that I don't need to pass in anything, and it's a method that it's looking for. But I believe that's it for now. Seems like we fixed all our bugs except for that one weird um, ace issue. If there's one ace and, and it adds up to 21 without the ace, which we'll cover on the next video. But thanks you for watching, and please like and subscribe. Please, 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 pretty please. <laughs> and look forward to making more videos and i haven't touched my rpg for a while so if you want me to work on that instead of this let me know but kind of the same concept just this is kind of a little bit more of a interesting task as of right now and something more reachable but definitely going to make more rpg videos so don't worry about that but thanks again and hope you look forward to the next video thank you